This is a fun problem. Today, we are going to simplify this nested radical expression step by step and show how it collapses into a much simpler form. The expression we are working with looks complicated at first, but the key idea is to find a hidden math identity inside the square root. We begin by focusing on the term involving the number multiplied with the square root, which in this case is 12 times the square root of 10. Instead of treating this as one solid block, we break it into simpler factors. 12 can be written as 4 times 3, and this 4 can again be written as 2 times 2 times 3. And this choice is intentional, because later you will see that it will help us form a well-known mathematical identity. Then the square root of 10 can be rewritten as the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. Next, we look at the number 53 inside the square root. Rather than treating it as a single number, we rewrite it as a sum of two numbers. Again, we are doing it like this because it will also help us form that identity. Here, 53 can be written as 45 plus 8. Again, this choice is not random. 45 and 8 are exactly the values we get when we square the terms that appear as the factors of 12 root 10. See, 45 can be written as the square of 3 times the square root of 5, because squaring 3 times the square root of 5 gives 3 squared, or 9 times 5, which is 45. Similarly, 8 can be written as the square of 2 times the square root of 2, because squaring 2 times the square root of 2 gives 2 squared, or 4 times 2, which is 8. Now here comes the magical moment. We have 3 root 5 here, and we also have a 3 and a root 5 here. Then we have 2 root 2 here, and a 2 and a root 2 here as well. We only have one extra 2 here, right? So we can rewrite this 53 minus 12 root 10 as 3 root 5 squared plus 2 root 2 squared minus 2 times 3 root 5 times 2 root 2. This is exactly the structure we need. This is because this entire expression has the form a square plus b square minus 2 times a times b. Wow! From algebra, we know that this pattern is equal to a minus b, whole squared, right? I was talking about this mathematical identity the whole time. So this entire expression becomes 3 root, 5 minus 2, root, 2 whole squared. Since the entire expression is already under a square root, the square and the square root cancel each other out. After canceling, we are left with a very clean result. The simplified form becomes 3 times the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 2. That is simply amazing, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So, good.